because of the burn, we can't perform any of our normal tests to see what's wrong. So we're going to try a galvanometer. It picks up a pulse in the wrists and the ankles. Hopefully it'll tell us why his heart rhythm is abnormal. What have I done to him, Mike? It was an accident. So, he's got all these burns, and, uh, and now there's something wrong with his heart? We're trying to figure out if the two are somehow connected. Had he been sick lately? No, nothing. Anything unusual with his behavior? Had he been tired a lot? Nothing. He was great. He was happy. He was just having a great time, and then... If he was experimenting with amphetamines or cocaine... No. We gave him some pot about a year ago to try. It was just once. We thought if we took the mystery out of drugs and alcohol, the less he'd experiment. We'll know more after the tests. <laughs> Looks like they're going to electrocute him. Plug it in. You plug it in. Fine. Give me the cord. Works. Prominent U waves. Now I've got a T wave. Now it's chemia. Q wave normal. That's not good. Chase, turn it off. Turn it off. What's happening? What is that? The season getting here. Something that disrupts brain function. The plaques are perfect. Interrupt neuronal communication. MS? No. MS is complicated. I think this is more basic. It's just tachycardia and seizures. How much longer the burn unit guy's gonna keep him in that thing? Lecture's over. Let's go. Has wants to. Adam's waking up. Get the anesthesiologist in here now. He's in pain. <laughs> That's no pain. Need some help in here. had an orgasm. What? You mean while he was in... Oh. <sighs> What's wrong? I'm having a migraine. Differential diagnosis for getting off. Is he gonna be okay? No, something's seriously wrong with him. Differential diagnosis for ejaculation. Don't make me sad again. We're not stalling. We just don't know. Guess. Could pain medication cause an orgasm? I wish. Maybe pain caused the orgasm. You get a tattoo, the brain releases endorphins, which create pleasure. <laughs> Most people don't orgasm from a needle prick. Well, Chase has a point. The brain is like a huge train station. If the switches get... <sighs> You're the neurologist. Talk for me. If sensory information got misinterpreted by the medial forebrain bundle, it's possible for bad to feel good and good to feel bad. He doesn't have MS or an infection. His proteins aren't elevated. Wrong protein. IgM, not IgG. Elevation was probably caused by the bleed. What if there was tingling in his extremities prior to the crash? How can you still be on MS? You gotta be on something. Something's interrupting his neurons' chit-chat like lesions. We can't scan for them. The only test we can do, we just did, and it was negative. He has no tingling, no numbness. And you read his history. Parents didn't say anything about what about Adam. We can't look into his brain, but you want us to read his mind. Good point. You can finish the sponge bath in a minute. They're just redoing his dressings. He's out. He's fine. I didn't pay you to put him out. I paid you to wake him up. Why are these lights so damn bright? Thank you. Come on. I need to talk to him. House, you can't wake up a burn victim to play 20 questions. It's torture. You won't remember. He's going to be an extraordinary... God, you're good. You're putting me to sleep. I know he's going to be in pain. I know you disapprove. I'm his attending. Wake him up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god. I'm Dr. House. It hurts. It's gonna get a lot worse, so answer fast. Before the accident, did you experience any numbness or tingling in your fingers? You got burnt. It's healing. I need an answer. It really hurts. Any tingling in your arms or legs? Do something, I can't. Adam, you gotta listen to me. Did you feel anything? I pissed my pants and then I don't remember. better. I took something. Mind if I ask what? A uh, little of this, a little of that. I know what's wrong with our patient. He's depressed. He told you that when you woke nope. him up? Told me he pissed his pants and blacked out. It's not diagnostic of depression. Lack of appetite, isolating yourself. Uncontrollable urination and blacking out are good predictors of what? Seizure. Which means the seizure he had when you tested his heart was at least his second seizure. So what? Depression and seizures aren't correlated. No. But you know what is? Depression and anti-depression medicine. Talk scream is clean. Yeah, but you know how much crap he's got in his system from dealing with those burns. The guy could have the Spanish Armada floating through his bloodstream. We wouldn't know about it until they started firing cannons. Antidepressants have been known to cause seizures in kids, but not orgasms. This is a brain in trouble. This is a brain with too much serotonin. Serotonin affects mood, appetite. It doesn't cause brain to shut down. Antidepressants fake brains into thinking they have more serotonin than they actually do every 10 million or so cases, sets off a chain reaction, produces too much, enough to fry itself. If Adam has serotonin storm, it's deadly. But treatable, cyber hep today. Unless he doesn't have serotonin storm, he could just as easily have too much dopamine as serotonin, but if it's dopamine, the cyperheptidine will kill him. Where are you going? I'm gonna talk to the kid again. Seems nice. You can't. Why, did he say he doesn't like me? Anesthesiologist told the parents what you did. <sighs> Everyone's a tattletale. What are you doing? You can't come in here. You're not sterile. Don't touch our son, we told you. Seriously, millions of bacteria, microbes on you. He'll die of sepsis. If you go in there. I think he's gonna wake him up again. I know he is. House, you can't do this. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. Relax, are they gonna sue us? If I'm right, I save his life. If I'm wrong, dead no matter what I do. Either way, how much have I really hurt them? Leave him alone! You're not sterile. You want to kill the kid? Give me this orange. No pain, no gain. Hey, you got to stop this. They're right. He's not depressed. Yeah, sure. I'm not letting you go till you give me that syringe. What's that on his wrist? A burn. Why on his wrist? Why not on his wrist? His back, his torso, everything's a mess. Forearms are clean, except right there. So what? It's a perfect circle. So a drop of burning gasoline fell on his wrist, a screw from the ATV. <sighs> Maybe. Why are you torturing him? Does your son smoke? I'd kill him. So, he can talk to you about sex, crack, anything except cigarettes. He has a cigarette burn on his wrist. Also, a fading nicotine stain between two fingers. Bad news, your son has a filthy, unhealthy habit. Good news, he's trying to quit. Bad news, the quitting's killing him. Good news, I can cure him. Bad news, nope, that's the end of it. Quitting smoking can kill. No smoke meds or antidepressants. The crappy ones you get over the internet. They're loaded with whatever antidepressants they can get cheap. And since mommy and daddy obviously didn't take him to a pediatrician. Sorry, I was wrong about him being depressed. Treat him. <laughs> 